Hello, I am Jose Luis and I will talk you about the devil at all hours. This is the story of Arvin, starring as by Tom Holland. This is a boy with a tragic past who lives in a religion town in West Virginia, steeped in corruption and decadence. But when an infamous pastor messes with his family, Arvin will do the unthinkable to save the people who, who he loves. The religion and the way these people practice is some of the best the movie has to offer. Since it's the present of the situation of extremely devout people um, to such a level of being practically idiot, I'm sorry, ignorant, since through their faith they will try to justify their crimes and per 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 cities. Perversities, sorry. We will also talk about the character of William Russell, starring by Bill Skarsgård, since he is the practical concept of the film, in which we refer to the failing into temptation about all, since his participation is not the cruelest of the most twisted compared to the performing by Robert Pattinson, Pattinson and Jason Clark, as we have the contrast of a good man failing into the clients of the film progress. The character exudes corruption, where you appreciate how they have succumbed in the devil's temptation. The film is a religious tone school give an argument for the illusions and faith, can cause and test the beliefs in their morality of its characters. One of the problems with the many story is that the film is the lack of connection between them, causing the causing them to continually interrupt the lack of structure beginning, middle, end. In the end, the movie simply introduces each of the characters and then just connect with dots with the main, canar ma main character, that is Arvin. My opinion is that it's a good movie, it's an interesting film, leads you thinking, but the lack of progress in its characters and the continuous change of stories affects the chronology and that's all. Thanks.